beautiful people my name is Nistaku and welcome to Wolf Among Us oh I'm so excited I know this game is old like really old but I've been wanting to play this game especially since the second one is coming out I think there's a trailer for it already and I'm just so 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 excited I'm glad that old characters are coming back so I wanted to make a series of my own of Wolf Among Us and I hope you guys enjoy it and um yeah I don't know what else to say I know a lot of about this game I'm not gonna spoil anything but I am going to try my best to find everything if that makes sense find any little options any secrets we'll go through the extras together um, but yeah I just want to have a good time with you guys playing a game that I love dearly 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 I've played it on my PlayStation but I haven't played it on my PC so I might be bad with QTEs because I don't think I've ever done a game with QTEs on my PC yet so we'll see, we'll see. But the first episode, episode one, Faith. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I should probably calm down, <laughs> sorry. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Oh, I'm sure. Knowing that it's Telltale, mm, I'm sure. I also wanna do more Telltale games. Oh. Once upon a time, in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of, ma of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. I don't know why you can't live in harmony, but they got exiled. So what does that mean? Like they couldn't pay their bill or five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That cool. looks slow, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So yeah. 103 with 30% humidity. Do you I don't know why they would, would get exiled. That makes no sense to me unless they just broke there. some rules. Hey, that's us. Oh, we have a headache. Same. I have a headache right now. <laughs> Are those scratch marks? No, it's probably window reflections. The wolf among us. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, it's been years. Years since I've seen or played anything about this game. When did this game come out? 2017? Kingdom Hotel. That's funny. Midas Gold. Oh. There we are. Oh, I'm so tough. Four hundred dollars, nonstop to the Bahamas. Jeez. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Toads. <gasps> hey, it's Toad. Mr. Toad. Oh. oh shit. Watch your mouth. Big B. Listen, mate. I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out of the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Watch your mouth! Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Okay. Enough excuses, no harm done. No I'm looking to at <laughs> three foot toe. Let's be nice. No harm done. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry. You can't send me up to live with those animals. I got no choice, brother. You know what I mean? Go see a witch. Oh, because he looks like an they're animal. Glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Sounds like the Do real you world. Have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? <sighs> Get it fixed. I don't make the rules. Not my problem. I wish I made the rules. Uh, silent. I don't know. I don't want to be mean. It's not even really worth dwelling on at this point. You're telling me to get it together. Yeah. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. Yes. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Yes. Jeez. Fuck you now. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there. Uh, I'll go. Do something, Big B. I'll go. So what have I walked into? Up the place. What have I walked so... into? What am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. Oh, the woodsman. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Great. Oh. Watch your mouth! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. 
I'll give him the boot scoot and boogie. Don't worry. Do it yourself. Why is he so pissed? I'm heading up. I'm heading up. Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Bye, Toad. You're so cute. <laughs> Smile. Oh, I love him. Sorry, quick up shit. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Oh. Then get that fuck back inside. Lovely guy. Lovely. Good father. I also, I think I read like maybe like the first or second book. Because there is a fable series with these characters, I think. Or at least the re uh, relation to it. And the farm is literally just like a farm. <laughs> it's just where animals go very, very far away from the city. What's this? Let go. Sorry, lady, if you need help, uh, I'm gonna be a minute. I found matches, and I'm gonna get this. The phone's more annoying. What is his problem? All right, bust it down. Bust it down, but. Let's go, oh, he's so tough. Hey, yo! Oh, hey, hey! Not in this society. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? Come on, come on, calm down, calm down. What's going Fucking on here? Calm damn. down. All right, everyone. Okay, <laughs> it's not gonna be calm. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Do we use glamour? Fuck out of the way. your last warning. You get the You're drunk. Again. What is this You're banjo drunk, music right? in the background? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Exactly. Me down? You got a shit fucking memory. That's not how it went. It's gonna go that way, though. This isn't last time. Oh, W! And <laughs> was not on the keyboard. Uh, 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 uh I got your back. Uh, wait, let's go to the sink. Ah, <laughs> uh, can we not? Can Ooh! Uh, the BD. Uh, DD. Is she in the corner? Oh, she's in the corner messing with her eye. Oh, clicky. Oh, Woody. Uh, let's go to the bed. Ooh. And that punch. Yeah, take that. And that. Ooh, you got a bloody nose now. Ooh, you got a bloody mouth now. Uh, the kitchen. That's not even a kitchen. Bottle. Why are we? Gosh, man! Oh, oh, hey, hey! Watch what you do with that toaster, man! He can't just like be calm. Why do we have to fight about it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, your knee. Ah. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoo! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh I guess Woody wouldn't need a glamour either. Uh, a. Uh, a blinky. Love tap. Would Big B need a glamour? Cause he's like, you know, the big bad wolf. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. Who even are you? Shit, bitch. Oh, fuck him. Put you on the ground. Be nice or I'll make you wait hey. outside. If you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. Language. You bug my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> what happened? Shit. You leave. What are you doing, what are you here? doing here? These lips are sealed. The freak? Oh, her bow has a little lip Look, symbol on it? this is just the start of a shitty night for me. Uh, I just need the happened? money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Hmm, it's your name, why was he hitting you? Why was he hitting why you? Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. Why can't you I answer will, it? But I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed Yeah, her ribbon does have lips on it. 
That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. Rude. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking oh, river. That's uh, who the fuck I am. Will you excuse me a stupid moment? Stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. What the <laughs> fuck? That's normal. Yeah, Toad's so gonna like that. Toad's so happy with us now. Oh, how are we doing, Big B? Our eyes. Oh my gosh! The hole in the wall. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Toad. <laughs> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm sorry. Oh no, by all means. You got insurance? Take oh, Pixel's time. missing. Make yourself comfortable. Sorry. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Aww. Even when you help, oh. things end up more fucked than they start. I'm sorry. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Great. Hey, Woody! Can we talk? Can we talk? Okay. Alright. Alright. Come on, Woody. Please. Come oh. oh, oh, what are we doing? Oh, cute. Oh, what the heck? I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. Come on. Come on, baby. Language! Oh! So is she Little Red Riding Hood? Ah. Dude, she's got bruises all over. I feel so bad. Oh, we gotta get the dog out of us. Pawn shop. Find some liquor. Dragon wing. Sorry, I'm just reading around. Thank you. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. Uh-oh. He's broke. The guy's Yikes. got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking oh bitch. Gosh, stop talking. <laughs> I mean, uh, whatever. Been a bad day. That makes two of us. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. You kind of deserve it, Woody. I'm sorry. Oh, what is that ring? Oh my gosh! Brother! Disgusting! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mongoose! Oh, he's an actor now! Oh! Okay, I'll talk about that later. Lightheart Sager, give her a matchbook. Here, you got more. Thanks. No problem. Are we just gonna stare at her? Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? What is that ring? I'm more curious on the ring. Beautiful, trying to help you. Such a new subject. Let's be so beautiful. Beautiful. I never noticed Thank a little you. lip mark before. I feel like we've met before. Mm -hmm. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Is she not Little Red? But 
Things change, I guess. I guess. Oh, well, he's gone. So much for kicking that axe in him. Shit. <laughs> totally. That was his uh, license plate I just saw. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it this already is. This is about Fable Town, are you sure? He hit you. It's about Fable Town, are you sure? It's Fable Town! It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. Darling, you already got I already got your revenge. You're fine. You're chilling. How much was the OJ? A hundred. Jeez. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. I'll help. Let's see, I've got uh, No reason to say you wish you could help when you can't help. 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? Buy yourself a lighter. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. Oh, there's money! <laughs> there's floating money! Do you see it? In his hand? What I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Yikes. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. Yikes. And I don't use that term lightly. Well, you don't look, I, you Some know, cool food. either. That's harsh. Tell me what you really think. Yeah, clean up okay. Clean up okay. I'll believe it when I clean up okay smudges blood on nose. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. I'll see you around, uh, Red Riding Hood? Who? I forgot who she is. And isn't prostitution illegal in New York? Like, how is this allowed? Well, I guess, you know, a lot of things are illegal, but people still do it. Oh, what an intro! It's so good! Complete chapter one of episode one. Oh, wow, that's chapter one. But... What I was, what I saw was on the back wall I showed a poster of Badger, and we're at some point we're gonna get to looking at a book of um, of all the fables, and I was wondering we see Toad and then Toad is talking to a Badger, and I had no idea where he was because I don't think he's in this game at all. If he is, then I forgot. And um, and yeah, it's cool that they at least implemented him in that way. So I. Totally missed that. But see, that's why I'm coming back. All the little details. Oh, episode one. Faith. And that's her name, right? We're at the woodlands. So is this town fully fable? I think it's like half and half, like half fable, half human, and that's why people can't go outside. But why didn't they pick, like, a rural area? Like, I don't know. Uh, what's in the middle of the United... Anywhere in the Midwest, really. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Why? Is it not luxury? Oh, yeah, because he lives in the smallest one. <laughs> and it's super pricey, too. Surprisingly, even though we do our best, uh, we don't get paid as well. Sometimes be a discipline. Oh yeah, snow runs it all. Um, oh, I can go faster. Can I go? I can't. Okay. Oh! I saw you! Stay off the grass. Don't make me come over. Come on out! Come on out. Her hand looks dead. Alright, alright. 
Hi, beauty. Hello, Big B. Doesn't she not have a name? I wasn't expecting anyone. Why'd you hide? Out I know late. this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide? There's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. What do you mean? No, you can't. What does that mean? Damn it, I'm late. Oh, sorry. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Oh! He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Uh, I'm staying out of it. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. Yep. Yep, sorry. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. I am not. That is something that he should already know. It's not what you might be thinking. No. I feel bad for her already. Why wear the heels then if you're gonna walk? Like, I can't imagine wearing heels to go walk to work or wherever she's going. She's late for something. Walk to a meeting. Hello, are you? He must be a fable if he's running this place, right? Who are you? Grimble. Who the frick is Grimble? Hey, you wink. Does he look awake, Bigby? Does he look awake? Probably for the best. Who's Grimble sounds so familiar. Suit of armor. I can touch it? I wanna touch it. Very nice. Very dusty. <laughs> Is it his suit of armor? Grimble. It sounds so familiar. Been a while since I got any mail. Mm. Seventh day in a row. You know what? I'm, I would be happy with that. The amount of advertisements you can get in mail these days is absurd. Damn thing fell off again. Not my name tag. Put gum on it. Dude, they just like out where they live. So, Beast and Beauty, B Blue, J Horner, K Cole. Who the frick is K Cole and J Horner? What? Damn thing fell off. Can we pick it up? Oh. Who's J. Cole and K. Warner? That makes no sense. How much longer is this gonna be? G. Go Grimble. On? Oh, Grimble. <laughs> Ca F. Catcher. See, like, I don't know much about fables in general, so maybe I just don't recognize it. Is there anything else we can look at? No? Okay. Alright, we'll leave. Let's go to our room. Oh, it's going down. Okay. Waiting, waiting. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! Bigby. Hey, wait up. Ooh. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I don't want to lie to him. I haven't seen her saying out of this. I did. Yeah, I did. What? When? She was outside. Just now. Just saying, she told me not to tell you yesterday. You saw her just now. Just a second just ago. A few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. No reason for me to lie. No reason for me to be a part of their drama. I'm just gonna tell the truth and move on. That is the best decision I think we can do. To just not have any turmoil. Wow, this place looks nice. Wow. So clean, so pretty. Come on, let's see it, let's see it. Oh, no phone calls, please. Oh, luxury! Damn, Look at the luxury we got going on here. Oh, the view is beautiful. At least it's like mood lighting. Washy washy our face. Nice and clean we are. 
How did we get the blood off of us before we got home? Oh, our scratch is gone. We do clean up nice. What a night. What a night. Good old Tussle and Russell, you know what I'm saying? Mm, what's in the freezer? Fro- wow, that is a frozen freezer. Damn it. Then refill it! You're by the sink, you lazy bones. Huff and puff? Uh, oh, you have to furnish your own apartment? Even better. What? D uh, why do you keep cigarettes in the fridge? Is that a thing? Bluebeard's file. P. Pennyworth? See, like, I have no idea about these files. Bluebeard, I know. Never trusted this guy. Bluebeard is the one that kills his his wives on the wedding night, I believe. <laughs> Hi, cute little piggy. I'll wake him up. Hold on, I want to investigate. Stop! No! Come on, get me moving. Fan, nothing. I guess that's the bedroom. Chinese food! I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Oh, so we were probably drunk. Cool, great. I love being drunk. Should help. Should help what? The stink? The piggy stink? Are you stinking up my place? Who is that? Why do we have that? Is that Red Riding Hood? Piggy! Hey! Oh, hey, Big B. How you doing? I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, you are. It's only the one. Yeah, get out. Come on, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Very long. <laughs> the pig noises that he makes while moving. Comfy. Thank you for warming it up for me. No, <laughs> so sexy. Got a smoke? They're bad for you. I don't even know why I take them. There you go. Enjoy it. You can't even take it out of your mouth. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. Brother, that was a this long time ago. Stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know <sighs> what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Well, Calm down. I'm not sending you back. No reason for me to if you just stay in the apartments. Is that for me? No, it's for no. me. I made it myself. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. The emotional manipulation. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. It goes hard. I want some rest. Give me a lingulon. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Crazy. Everyone hates me. I was just hungry. Better be better to be feared. No, I was just hungry. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. You're a pig. You would if you could. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, um, hates the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. That's part of my job. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. It's not his problem, though. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. Good. I mean, look at your hands. It's on my hands. I get my nails done. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. No, it's my job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. He was beating on Sometimes another fable. I take him to the farm. Fuck you. Language. I didn't even say that, and yet he'll remember it. Like that's not even a choice I made. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? Dick. I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. <laughs> By being big and being bad. 
Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's a little cringe. Being big, I'm a big bad That's wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not true. Not everyone. Name one. Toad. I was nice to Toad. 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 Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? He has two kids. He's yelling at him. Uh, sounds about right. Aww. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Language. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? <laughs> well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. That makes no sense. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, <sighs> enough I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Oh my gosh, Look, the pouty phase. If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Why are you so mean? Gosh, you're so ugly. Take it. Take it. I don't care. Drinking's bad for you, anyways. Oh, this is water. Is it water? Thanks, Big B. <laughs> All the pig noises. Do you not have a bed you can sleep in? I saw two other doors. Maybe you can't afford a bed. He lives in such a crap hole for being able to protect the entire, like, fable town. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's Piggy? Where did Piggy go? What if I don't want to answer the door? I'm gonna look around. Into my kitchen I go- Never mind. Okay, fine. Gosh, we're so tall. Big B. Oh. Snow. Come with me. We're not gonna close our snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What happened? What Slow down. It? Where are we going? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Who are you? Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't say it back? Okay. Please support Fable Town. What a car! These Have walls you... oh. are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Are there civilians live uh, civilians? Are there like normal people living here? Uh oh. Um He's still sleeping. What a pain in the butt. Isn't he the security? I already see it. Oh, I already see it. Oh, no. Come on, show it to us. Uh. Bro. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Is she not? Who was she? I thought working I girl, everyone. just a girl, prostitute, she a working girl. I can't place her though. A working girl? Well, I guess if she was a working girl, I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. She can't be Little Red because we would recognize her. The woodsman. He attacked her. And I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... <sighs> terrible. Who found her? What happened? Did she anyone? What it happened? It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble? Yeah. 
Then I opened the door and I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. Jeez. That's all. That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. Is Grimble a Monday? No reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will. That looks beauty. Through. That looks like Beauty and the Beast, no? Hmm. Aww. Dude, like her neck. That looks so weird. Looks like she got struck by like purple lightning. God, what did this to her? What could do something like that? Hmm. There's something very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately it's so weird for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is? Take it out. Take it out. Oh, stop. I changed my mind. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol. Well, that was the ring she was wearing. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Close her mouth. Mm -mm. Cover her up or something. I, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. It's okay, I'm here for you, Snowy. Um, what... What do you want to do next? Investigate more, but yeah. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Alright, bye! Okay, we got a ring. I want to look back here. It looks like there's an alleyway back here. Oh, 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 okay. All right, fine. Nothing on the bench, it looks like. Can I go on the grass? Will she be mad if I go on the grass? No, I can't go on the grass. Not when she's around. Oh, what is that? Oh, those are rocks. Oh, I thought that was, like, Colin. But no, I have no idea who she is. And the whole- th I think there's, like, the whole theory behind her. Oh, my blood. More sticky ickies. Can I touch it? Blood. Drops of blood. Touch. I'd say it's been here. There's an nothing hour, on your hands. Literally nothing on you contaminated the scene and there was nothing on your hands. What is this? No signs that it's been here long. What is that? Jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Jeans. Jean fabric. Got it. Just some loose trash. My health and puffs are in there. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Well then can't you test the blood? What what year is this in blood? Still wet. Sharp enough. Looks painful. Alright, we're done. I think that's everything. If we can't go on the grass or whatever. I think that's all we can do. Can we talk to her again? Oh, show her the jeans. She wouldn't do it! What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Hmm. Of course she's not going to be it. She reported. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her here. I don't want to say yet. Someone definitely brought her here. Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. Gosh. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? 
I don't know. Uh, blood trail, blood on the fence. The piece of jeans! Blood on the fence. I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. Oh my gosh, poor girl. Close your mouth! It's so weird. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. Why? As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. King Cole? And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. You guys have a king? It be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Think Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not. At least just Snow's happy with us. Interfering. <sighs> Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Gosh, I wish the, I knew these fables names. Swineheart? All I knew so far was Badger. <laughs> that was from the book. Ah, oh, man. No, oh, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Excuse me. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I work I've here. I've standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel <laughs> Fucker. Language! What did I do wrong? I was nice to you! Whoa! <gasps> Look at the pirate ship! Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. Can you not yell at my girl? The last girl? thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. <gasps> the do sword you understand of the stone. Me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Exactly. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Language. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. The frick Tell am I supposed to do? Something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything? Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're Could doing. Be Bluebeard. Because right now, pimp. I have half a mind to fire the both of them. Her pimp. Yeah, her pimp. Her. Was she, uh. Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Massage. You have people waiting outside do for your you. Do job, sheriff. Well, we'll find someone who can. Do your job. You would have just pissed him off more. I didn't say anything. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Pull the band-aid off. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and Well, Crane's not in here. <laughs> Never mind. Smoke away. He gets a morning massage, crazy behold, what's the wine about? Yeah, he gets a morning massage? A massage this early. Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. That is... Yeah, he's running the place? Okay. Is... Is he gone? Yes. Who you. are you? You're uglier than the pig! Oh, and What's you him? stole the wine. Hello, Miss Snow. Oh, that Drinking smile. This early? Where did you get that? 
It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. You're so you ugly. Today, Mr. Bigby? You're so ugly. Uh, what? That's so mean! I'm not great. I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. How are you, Buffkin? Aww. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Wow, are all these books about fables? He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Yeah, there's a we'll million at books. We'll be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Ah, <gasps> magic mirror. You really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Weird. Weird. Ah, we know this one. Well, I know this one. Why, Mr. Crane's assistant? Hi. Yes, I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Oh, that's so weird that she's doing it. All right, but I'm going to leave it here. Actually, real quick, I want to check the book of fables. We're going to do, uh, we're going to look at them basically every time we kind of finish an episode just to see. So we have Big B, renowned Big Bad Wolf, known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods. Big B now acts as Fable Town Sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly, however, due to his rough past assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. His instincts are just too hard to control. Snow White, but it stems from her life from mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. Oh, she was abused? After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. Oh, so the dwarves assaulted and cat kidnapped her? It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red. She had a sister? <laughs> Where the frick is Rose Red? She divorced him after the exodus. Snow forced. Snow focused on her attention of setting up a safe. Oh. Dang. Talk about going, making a better life for yourself. Woodsman's one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe Bigby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. Save her eyes with the wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him full of rocks and threw him to the river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he's only known as the Woodsman. Aww. Beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all their wealth behind. But why were they forced to flee? What is the Exodus? Now they live in a modest studio in Fable Town. New York, though times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Wow, that's cute. Beast's wife, Beast left everything behind, yada yada. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He's able to get around Fable Town without glamour most of the time. But if he gets too angry, he becomes more beastly by the minute. Growing horns and large teeth! Despite the occasional bickering, two are truly in love and have the longest lasting- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fable Town law to keep his family and himself magically. The problem is Toad is too concerned with what the- uh, is, isn't too concerned. So is it that he just doesn't want to do it? Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs back in the homelands. They were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down his house of straw. Oh, he was the straw piggy! After Exodus, Colin, the other fables who couldn't pass for human were sent to live uh, at a, the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to- How do you do that? He's always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Aww! De Ichabod Crane. Isn't Crane part of the Headless Horseman? Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod has been deputy mayor Wow, for 115 years. Talk about a long life. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Great. Crane is authority. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. Great. What a guy. Buffkin is the winged monkey. From the- Oh! From the land of Oz? 
With the Wicked Witch of the West? That's cool. The librarian spends his time reading and stealing deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Aw. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one that can make sense of the filing system. Oh, because he can fly up around? Oh, we can read about the farm, too. We have a town community in Manhattan. It appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really home to the fables of from many worlds, and within the business offices of the Woodland lies a massive cavern. Oh, the place that we're in now. Right? A vast library and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm. And this is the farm. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans, giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite the size of and comforts. So the farm is nice, it's just a big farm, but it's boring. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though, some like Colin sneak out. Oof. The Mundies, non fables. Yeah, these are just humans. Boarding spells placed around. Oh, wait, what? Catch on for the non magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mondays, these magical protection charms will overload and fail. Ah. So, they can come in and whatever, but they're kind of like in a haze. They're like, eh, whatever. I saw a pig walking and talking. That's fine. Pig probably had Red Bull. Glamours, glamours of spells, change rooms are expensive, but it can be purchased from non-human fables. Mmm, cheap glimmers can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Yikes. And Bluebeard! We haven't even seen him yet! Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands, his riches intact, lucky you, and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions, and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, yep. Uh, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. Oh, he decapitates them. That I didn't know. So that's why he could have been the killer. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip to down Crooked Lane. Down Crooked Lane? The frick does that mean? And I guess we missed one. Mm. Alright. But yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Um, quite a, honestly, a little bit of a longer episode than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, these episodes will probably range from 30 minutes to an hour. I see this one's already hitting an hour, but that's fine, that's fine, it's fine. I hope you guys enjoy this series, though, and I hope you enjoy, um, re-experiencing, if it's nostalgic for you, or experiencing this for the first time with me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you for showing all your support. It's really appreciated, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Alright, bye guys! See ya!